What does this- Wait a minute! Did you see what I just did? I just... For some reason, I saw this wall of dirt and something compelled me to just break these down to just see what's behind the wall of dirt. I guess like an archaeologist would do, honestly. And I am sort of spelunking, aren't I? So yeah, I just wanted to see what was back here and we uncovered another path! What is... No! What is new Minecraft? Where's my music? It's on. Hmm. Might have to switch to our diamond pickaxe here soon. I mean, it does have thousands. Like, wait, how many uses does a diamond pickaxe have by default? Um. No, you just taught. Spy yep, I see spider webs. I hear spiders. I'm sort of thinking. Oh, this leads to the next one. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it almost feels like I'm exploring in Metroid right now. You know how Metroid has like winding pathways, but they connect in logical ways and stuff like that. Now, this is a procedurally generated world slash cave system slash area. So it's difficult to make things like that, like Minecraft procedural generation. It's difficult to create something that will procedurally generate stuff that makes logical connections and stuff. But they seem to have done a really good job. It's not impossible, as we can clearly see. Aha, wait, I think I... <gasps> yep, poison spiders. I don't have milk to negate poison. So we'll go. It's not going to work, huh? Where's the actual spawner? Why aren't you interested in attacking me? Oh. Where is your spawner? Ah! I was hoping to avoid that. Let's see how much damage this actually deals. At least we can do this in a controlled environment. Oh, that's not too terrible. Okay. These spiders will become... Three iron sword swings. Um... Another spider came from this way. There's the spawner. Let's just eliminate that. I figured it was coming from this way. I believe the sword is the best tool for chopping down spider webs. Yeah, yeah, bro. Marcia! You above me or below me? Or just through the wall? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right. And there's like 12% of all viewers right now who are thinking, he forgot the diamond! You guys think I forget a lot. And I forgot why that is. I really should have dug around this first, making sure there was no lava. Kind of went went against my own. Uh, kind of went against one of my own practices here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that's another reason you dig around, by the way, just to find more diamond. Uh huh. I know this. Why are y'all so obs obsessed with not aggro? Ow! Ow! No, you just With not aggroing on me, huh? One, two. Hmm. Well, given your bites don't really hurt, except for the poison. Let's see how long that's going to last. Yeah, given the bites don't really hurt that much, except for the poison. It's okay to just tank some of that damage. Okay. Hmm, another. Wait, is that... Wait, we got hit here last time. I'm just trying to get rid of all the spider sounds. Oh, come on. Where'd that come from? They're biting at me from corners and other angles. And I can't quite see. Okay. Let's go this way. Leave the water bucket. Let my HP regenerate a good little bit here. Is that a treasure chest? No, it's not. Okay. We can keep moving this way and go boom. 
Boom. Okay, we've got two more diamonds on us. <laughs> oh, look at that. Okay, this is scary. Nope. Dang it. I was hoping to prevent that. Bread. Okay, I'm low on health. Which means we have to slow down a little bit. I'm not doing a good... Okay, we connect with torches back there. I'm not doing a great job here. Of keeping my bearings. I'm not doing a terrible job. I do have my torches. My torch system. Now we can come back here with a little bit more HP. Man, we are surrounded by monsters here. And I, dear viewers, wouldn't have it any other way. Let's grab this back, as it's one of my prime safety options. Boom. Sword at the ready, shield at the ready. You're the one that's been doing it. Uh -uh. Let's protect myself thusly. That'll keep me guarded. Okay, good. I see spider leg right there. I don't doubt that he can strike me from there. Given what they were doing just prior. Okay, no, we're good here. Collect a few of these. I'm not focused on grabbing a ton of them. But we will collect some every now and then. I don't have any plans for these, if you're wondering or excited. But I do find that when I play Minecraft, I tend... I do find that when I play my... Oh god, no wonder. Okay. There's... Poison spider spawners all over this place. Up, oh, almost looked right at him. Now I do have to kill Enderman. I do want eyes of Ender. Uh, I think I can. No, I think if I mess with him right now, mm, let's not. It's a little risky. That's the only thing. rest of that's going to stay, honestly. Okay. I think I can set up my Enderman... Killing... SimCity. <laughs> Only StarCraft players know what I'm talking about right now. Um... I can set up my Enderman SimCity normally, but I think if we just do this, no. Mm, will he get me from there? You know what? We're gonna do this. Then we're gonna go like this, like normal. Go, boom. Then we're gonna go dirt, uh, dirt, dirt, like normal, and this will work. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm like chopping at his crotch. There we go. I needed one of those. Oh, I'm so sorry that that death was so dishonorable. Well, it wasn't dishonorable for him, but it, was a, it definitely was not an honorable move on my part. <laughs> All right, let's swap to the diamond pickaxe. And we definitely need the eye. I, I can make whatever fences I want. Okay. <laughs> Cut, 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 cut. So abandoned mine shafts. Oh, great. No, you just thought. Wait, you, you, wait, you guys can. Oh. Whew. 
I say you guys can't even reach me through your own webs. Oh, there's so many. All right, well. No panic. No panic. Go back and watch when these spiders first started attacking me. You see me swiping furiously at one spider trying to kill him. Then you'll see me calm down. There's a point where you'll see me calm down, intentionally aim the cursor, wait for the sword to recharge, and then swing. That's another skill. That's another part of intentionality right there. When you find yourself flailing like that, stop, calm down, reassess, figure out what you need to do, then calmly do it in intentional step-by-step -step motions. That's how I solve a lot of um, situations like that. Boop, 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 boop. Okie dokie. Yeah, yeah. So I was coming through here. And let's do something like this. I don't know how much that helps. We're going to break the crap out of this first because we don't need that doing its thing. Same process. Why was that not working? Got it. Okay. Now once again, calmly reassess. Let's build some protections while we wait for ourselves to heal. Let's also take a look at our armor. Armor's in a good spot. May all your cards be live and your pots be monsters. Okay. That's one spawner down. Before we can begin exploring this very webbed up area, we certainly need to take care of those spawners. Okay, we're just gonna drop a torch on the ground there. There's a spidero. Water bucket doing work. Okay, so they can get to me through their own webs. A situation I was formerly misled into believing was not the case. All right, let's wait here. And while we do, we can look at how many diamonds we're gonna lose. Is there a way to me through here? Not anymore. Nor through there. Let's finish healing up. Uh, I'm going to try one of these golden apples. Ooh, oh, that gives me two extra... <gasps> wow, those are really handy. I had no idea that you can get extra HP. It's like shield HP. Ha! All right. Hmm. Pretty clear that being stuck in the corner like this is suboptimal. So golden apples do heal really quickly. But then there's also the notch apple, right? The, the golden enchanted apple? Interesting. Um, here's what we're gonna do. There's no good route to that spawner. So since this is Minecraft, we'll make one. There 
There it is. Need my dirt back. Just a few blocks this way. That's all we need. Carefully with the plates. Now we do want to approach it from above. There it is. Oh, we're trying to break through the web. There we go. Oh, that must have been what was happening earlier with that first spawner. All right, so that's kind of well taken care of. I'd like to look around this way now. Get all this out of my face. Still hear plenty of spiders. Chop, chop, chop. Hmm. I'm gonna need to smelt some of this iron to make another sword. Or... Hmm. What time is it? IRL 9.09 p.m.? Yeah, another evening recording session, by the way. I'm not sure how many of you... Well, you know what? Doesn't matter. Um, I want my water bucket back. That was protecting me while I made this attack route. Checking. Okay, it should be a lot safer to follow the intended way now. Oh, I heard a drop. Okay. Oh, there's another couple of duders. Oh, nice! Great gap closer. Great not canceling your auto to make sure you actually land the hit. It's a very useful skill. It's more intentionality. And that one was for League of Legends players. Boom! Right in the thorax? Stomach? Thoromic? Oh, you climbed to the wall. Tried to set up an ambush, huh? Well, we can certainly hear far fewer spideros now. Okay, and this breaks off this way. Excellent. So if we go through here, we can place a torch on this side, and then one here too. All right, so abandoned mine shafts seem like a pretty decent way. Whoa. Seem like a pretty decent way to find diamond. Unless I just got lucky here. Let me know in the comments, dear viewers. I wanna, I'm, I'm very curious as to your experiences. When you go into abandoned mine shafts, do you come out with as many diamonds as I have so far? More? Fewer? Was this a lucky... Have I made a few lucky finds here, or... Is this about par for the course? It's good to know these things. <sighs> I'm out of troches, and there's more treasure there. Okay. Bump, bump, just use all of the... That on the that. I'm gonna need another sword. Otherwise, I'll be relying on the axe. So... Oh, not gonna leave me alone, huh? <laughs> he shook his head, no. All right, well, then you have declared war. At least he was ballsy enough to declare war first, man. Mm, oh, yeah, thank you. Those are so good. I don't really care about the rest of this. I mean, I guess Colt now, we're good. Okay. I should probably destroy these. So I don't come back through here later looking for more. Now we've got the diamonds that we need. Boop. We've got the diamonds that we need for the enchantment table. 
those are stored neatly at waste station amethyst. grow on me please so here's what we're gonna do we'll make our first diamond sword now we are not in any danger of not having a sword this time let's eat up definitely need the right blocks where they gotta go huh relax go to it when you want to go through it relax Go to it when you want to go. <laughs> there's one in the corner. Please tell me there's another one off in a T shape here. Nah. All right, all right can't be too disappointed it is it is three more diamonds it is it is three more diamonds you know you want to know why these excite me so much it's because i know minecraft now well it's already super fun but i know minecraft now has so much more and i know that there's a lot ahead and i know that diamond is the way to access that so all of the not all of the fun exciting stuff because we've already encountered a lot of the fun exciting stuff but even more fun, exciting stuff is ahead. And diamond is the way to unlock that. See, that's called progression in game design. Ta-da! Cool. Uh, at this point, given I have a diamond pickaxe, what I'm going to try to do, I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave this. I'm going to leave this and the iron. Why? I probably don't need to leave the iron. I'm going to leave this. Because we are right on the cusp of being able to enchant this diamond pickaxe. And I'm hoping we can get fortune on it. And if so, then I can come back and get not three, but maybe like eight or nine out of that. We'll see. Depends on the fortune upgrade. Oh, but for that, we need books. Are there torches down there? Hmm, I'm, I'm not too keen on going down there at the moment. This is necessary. Yeah. Okay, I think we've gone far enough in here for now. I think it's time we brought this hall back. Okay. Okay, we're gonna need a way up. Torches on the right. Wait, did I loot this one? I don't think I did. I did not. Power four enchanted book. A power four diamond sword. I got so strong just now. Torches, of course, of course. Mm, I don't think I need spider eyes or anything. Bread would just save a little bit on food. Boom. Just break that. Okay. Torches on the right. It'll be a little difficult. To find those diamonds again right maybe what if we keep going this way We've gotta put the torches on the right from there so we're gonna go like this we're gonna go um if we were moving this way it would be like this so if we're trying to get back there's a torch on the right and then there's another torch on the right and this shows torches on the left, so getting back tells me to go this way. Okay, another torch right there was very useful. So we keep on going. We're going to leave some of these spider webs and such to let me know don't go in these directions. I wish I had my signs. I mean, it's not, it's not like I can't make some signs. Where's that workbench? Did I, didn't I place one down just now? Aha. Following the torches on the left tells me what I need to do. What is that? Oh, it's my dripstone block. 
Mm, I'm kind of curious as to whether or not this leads like to parts of the cave I've seen already. Because this is a big open area, and we have seen this abandoned mine shaft connect in numerous ways. So this could be a fast way to get to the diamond. Okay, maybe not. Maybe we just leave this for the time being. What an interesting breakout, though. Okay, we'll leave this. We'll leave that like that. Uh, we brought this. Let's just turn this all into this now. Boom. Signs. Um, we're going to need more than that. Let's throw away the stone, diorite. Yeah, it's all whatever. Six signs? Let's make nine. Got nine signs. Okay, that's where we're golden. So now what we'll do is we'll come through here. We'll walk, walk. This sign will tell me diamond. Okay, good. Following the signs. I mean, following the torches and the signs, I guess. Well, this way, we're going to come to this. And when we do, uh, I will say, um, where do I want this sign? It's kind of, yeah, I guess this is fine. Diamond to the right from there. Yeah, good. See, this way it makes it easy to find the diamond. Oh, hello there. No. Nope. Ah! Well, you know what? You really didn't do a whole lot. You didn't break a sign. So I'm not worried. That means we do this. From here we go. Like, let's clear this out. There, now there's room for the sign. easy to see. Keep the torches on the right. Keep the torches on the right. And let's break this. Give me a little bit more room to move. God, this is a mess. I'm not even worried about any of that. Okay, torches on the right. So I'll be coming through here, aha. So for me, I'll come through here and go and the sign, it needs to go like, ah, right here's fine. This one might be a little too close to the former one, but we're okay with that. Or to the other one. Now this is where we're gonna come down from here, not through here. This is where you go to a new area, but this is where we came from the first place. And that's progress. So we want to say, this is more going a different way. How did I get here? So that's torch on the right. Did I get here from here? See, now, now it gets a little bit confusing for me. I'm a little bit confused. So if I'm running this way, looking for my diamond signs, I won't find it that way. And I'll come through here and I'll get lost, okay. But the absence of torches tells me to turn back around. Ground torch is a breadcrumb. And what happened was is I came down. So from here, I actually came down to this level. Okay, this is where it is. And then there's the diamond sign that way. Okay. So as I'm navigating this, it was this way. So I kind of... Swept, I kind of zoop around like that is what happened. So what's going to happen is it's, I'll come through here. And we'll go. Left, down, diamond. 
left and down diamond. Left and down diamond. Cool. Okay. Then we go back this way by putting torches on the right. Otra vez torches on the right. Diamond here. Diamond. We might need more signs. Okay, torches on the right. Um, don't follow much else. Where is this? And there is Waystation Amethyst. Okay. So we ended up coming through here. Going to place this sign because we're, we're going to need to go from Waystation, Waystation Amethyst all the way through here. So we'll go like this. Mm, I think I'd rather this be like this. Yeah, that's fine. Eh, it's kind of weird either way. Fine. That's already nice and lit up. Way station amethyst. Okay, so from way station amethyst. We want to say it's kind of hard to actually locate that. So from right here in a pretty visible spot. Here, let's use the old cobblestone trick. The old not naturally occurring cobblestone. Place the sign right here. Okay. Nice. And I'm, I'm not going to do this every time I find diamond, by the way. It's an interesting little thing I want to try here. It, it seems to make the most sense here. Okay, it's pretty, it's pretty easy for me to find that, but we'll just... Since we're here... Done. Okay. Now, what usually goes here is my food. So let's put my food there. Ooh, 53 raw iron. Let's grab these diamonds. Let's put these in here. I'm not going to bring all these back to base. Um, I know I want this for sure. This stuff we can come get later if we want it. Everything else. Oh, yeah, the water drips here. Oh yeah, I want my white banners in case I want to do more things like that. And we will bring the gunpowder. Stack the sticks. This is everything that we want. And now it's time to get back to base. So let's do that. Let's put the torches on the right. Now, Waystation Amethyst, what I did not get here by traditional X method means. I got here. Torches on the right. Diamond through there. Okay, yeah, I got there by by breadcrumb means, so we're not really doing torches on the right this time. This time we're following through here because there's no walls to actually rely on. However, if I did it properly, it should still serve the same purpose. Following these will get me. Now, can I follow them? Yes, I can. I can follow them from up here down just as easily as I can follow them from below up. Okay, so there's that. Here's where I placed a dirt block, and that leads out. <clears throat> Baby! Okay, so we get back here later. Ho hopefully, hopefully we can get this diamond pickaxe enchanted with, um, do we have, we have one back at home, right? Hmm, I would need another. It doesn't matter. We have three over there that we can get if we absolutely need to. Um, hopefully, hopefully, once we get our enchanting table set up and we get the books necessary. Oh, that's a, that's another big one. Okay, well, that's 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 something to consider later. We absolutely need books to get the highest level. Unless if something has changed, we absolutely need books to get the highest level. Uh, fortune enchantment on this thing. 
but I think even some minor enchantments on iron gear wouldn't be the worst thing. Now, is it daylight? Is it, is, it, is, it, is it dawn or is it dusk? Let's find out. Crawling out of here. Oh, I guess swimming out of here. It feels like it's... That's east, right? Who knows? I know I got to run toward the sun, though, right? Here's this. Yeah, it's dawn. <laughs> yeah, baby. Or as Cyborg would say, Booyah! God, Teen Titans. Okay, don't hate me for saying this. Teen Titans Go seems to be very popular because it's been running on Cartoon Network forever. But it is not Teen Titans. <laughs> I grew up with actual Teen Titans. Well, I don't... I didn't grow up with it. I was probably like in high school and starting my... Actually, no. When did Teen Titans come out? It was probably on my... Like my second or third job by that point but i remember the original teen titans man that show was so good then teen titans go comes out and i don't have anything against teen titans go i don't watch teen titans go i the 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 few times that i have caught it and sat down and actually gave it a chance or just watched it because there was nothing else nothing else on uh, i found it funny it was it is a funny show and i like seeing those characters in silly and zany situations it's pretty neat but that's all I can say for it, is it's pretty neat. Um, I feel like if the show came out on its own, like if Teen Titans, the original, had never existed, I don't think Teen Titans Go would have ever seen the success that it has. I don't think it's that good of a show. Um, but even absent that, like the original Teen Titans was just something else entirely. It was really, really good. Another good series, another good kids show that's also exceptionally good. Um, I don't want to say better than Teen Titans, but up there. One of the best shows I've ever seen, honestly, is Ben 10. Uh, best, best kids shows. It ranks way up there. Ben 10. The original, and then the one that comes after the original, and then I think one where he's a teen. I, I didn't really follow it. Again, I was older, but there was a time where I got like really into Ben 10, and I would like make sure to be up to catch it. Really good show. Ben 10 is one of the most powerful superheroes in all existence. One of those that I think, one of the very few fictional characters I think would have a chance against Superman in a death battle. But my reasons for that aren't clear until you've watched Ben 10. Okay, dear viewers. Well, um, what a, what a, mm. Oh, what a phenomenal session. Lots of inventory management to do. Lots of thinking about what comes next. And I, I, I think I'm just going to get to that. I have to, I, I have to bring this session to a, I have to bring this session to a close. I can actually feel, okay, this is going to sound weird. I can feel the excitement in my arms. Like, you ever feel that? I don't know. It's hard to explain. That was such a fun session. Dear viewers, that's going to do it for this particular session. I hope you folks, we got a diamond sword. Hope you folks enjoyed it. Wait, can we still block with the sword no we can't you can't wave it in front of your face like old school <laughs> anyway dear viewers that's going to do it for this particular session hope you folks enjoyed it thanks a lot for watching and i will see you folks next time